<coughs> so now we'll do problem 6a which is uh, still the still uh, the simply supported beam um, but now we have the distributed load one distributed load okay six kilometer per meter so let's draw that so this is the beam right there is a pin here hmm? and then this is a piece of water there and we have the four kilometer load 400 newton four kilometer load and then there's, there is a distribution w distribution of six kilometer per meter along the line here what else we have we have the a and b points the ends so at a and b at b we have the because it's a roller, so basically we just have one normal force, which is dy, right? And at A, we have, because it's a pin, we have dy, and we have A, dx. But, we know that A is equal to zero. Hmm? So, because there are, there are no other forces in the x direction, right? So, after we do this, well, basically we, we know that this is 2 meter, and then we know that this is 1 meter apart, right? So after we have this three diagram, what we want to do, we have to find the reaction forces, AY and DY. So to find AY, we do summation of moment about point B, isn't it? Because this DY will not appear in the equation. So we do the moment about B equals to zero. So it will be AY times three, positive AY times three, line three, the arm, okay? And we have, okay, how about six kilometer per meter? This is the distributed load. So, it has a equivalent concentrated load, which is, because this is this 24 meters distributed, it will be 6 times, so 6 is magnitude, hmm? uniform magnitude of, uniform magnitude of 6, and you just multiply this with the line to 2 meters, eh, sorry, 2, two meters, so it will be 12 kilometers equivalent, so concentrated load. How about the distance? The distance is one meter from uh, uh, one meter from left and right. So actually, I mean it, it is in the middle. One meter means that two meter, one kilometer x in the middle because it's a uniformly distributed load. Okay, so for this twelve kilometer, the equivalent one. So we have the minus twelve times how much? One plus one is easy. Hmm? Twelve times 1 plus 1, 2 okay, because we are doing again we are doing moment about point B and then minus 4 times 1 equals to 0 that is for BY because that is for R for BY okay? so if you solve this then we got AY equals to 9.333 kilo Newton so this okay uh, let's, let's finish first so, and then we do summation of F y equals to 0. Again, you can do summation of moment about point A to find dy. It's fine, doesn't matter. So, if you do summation of forces in y equals to 0, so it will be dy minus 4 minus 12 minus, sorry, minus plus a y 9.33 equals to 0. So, your dy will be 6.33. Uh, 6, 7 kilo Newton. Alright, try to check these values. Um, so, to make it easier for us, just replace a y here with 9.33 and the y here as 6.667 kilo. Newton. Is that right? Okay, so let's erase this for a while for now. Okay, uh, let's don't have this AX, it's bothering me. Okay, so next what we, what we want to do, we have to do cut section method, alright? So, okay, remove this as well, so it will be uh, clearer. Okay, because the original load is the 6 km per meter variation, alright? Don't, don't, in the cut section method letter, don't use this. The, the, the previous red one, the previous equivalent on the load is not correct, it's incorrect. So you need to do, use the distribution load, okay? Keep the distribution load. And uh, so next, we have to determine how many cut sections that we need. There are two, two cut sections. First is this region, the two meter region from A, from the left, okay? 
The second one is this between 4 kN and B. Alright? With the support B. So the first one, you cut here. Okay, and then you take the left part, for instance. You can take your the right if you want, but it will be uh more difficult, I think. So we draw the left one. And then at A we have this 9.33 kN load, right? And then at, uh, on the top we have the this normal distribution of load, 6 kN per meter, right? And then uh, we don't have 4 because we cut between, uh, before the 4, before this 4 kN. And then what we do, what do we have uh, at the section? At the section we have this internal shear V. Let's name it as V1 because we're going to have another cut. Okay, and then this M1. Why the, the, the direction is like this? I, I've told about that in the previous example, right? So uh, go check on that. And then this is the, the distance from A, from the end to the section X1, right? Now we keep this all these subscripts as one. How about this distributed load? Okay, this distributed load. So what will be the equivalent one, the equivalent distributed load will be 6 times x1, right? Because 6 is the magnitude, the normal distribution is 6 times x1. x1 is the length. The location, the location should be in the middle. x1 over 2 here. Of course, so this one is x1 input as well, right? So... We do the summation of to find the one. We do summation of forces in y direction to be equals to zero. So we have summation of forces in y equals to zero. So we have nine point three three. This one going up positive minus six x one going down negative minus v one equals to zero going down v one to zero. So your v one equals to nine point three three three. Minus 6x, x1. Hey, sorry, v1. Okay? So this is your equation for v1. For v2, what happened? For v2, so v2, for the, for the bending moment m1, again, do moment about the section that you cut so that the v1 would appear in the equation. So, assuming contact always uh, direction as positive, hmm? O is this, okay? So we have positive M1 counterclockwise plus 6x1 times x1 over 2, okay? 6x1 is this, x1 over 2 is the arm here, okay? So it follows the same direction with M1, the uh, counterclockwise direction, okay? That's why it's positive and positive. And then this 9.33 will be minus 9.33 x1. Why minus? Because this one will cause counter. Clockwise, okay, that the way around from the our initial assumption. So, do we have anything else? No, so equals to zero. So we have three. So m one equals to nine point three 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 x one minus three x one. So I'm, I I I uh, I I brought these two to the other side, okay. So for these two, the x one ranges between zero to how much? Two. From 0 to 2, okay? Because this is the only region that these two equations are valid. Alright? So, now we have the two equations, the first two equations. So, like I said, there is another, another cut that we need to do on the right hand. Uh, sorry, not on the right hand. On, the, on this one, okay? So, here, you cut here. Which part, you, which, which, which part you want to take, left or right? You can take left. Yeah, right, doesn't matter. Both will give you the same answer if you do it correctly. Okay? Uh, because we never did the right one. We never took the right one before. So let, let's, let's take the, the right one. Okay?